Hi everyone, a uh, welcome back to iNeuronics.ai. Today I'm going to show you how to load DeepSeq R1 model in Google Colab using Olama. This is going to be a step by step guide. So if even if you are new to this, you will be able to follow along easily. Let's get started. <music> So first of all, uh, I will type deep seek on Google. Cool. Uh, before diving in, let me quickly explain uh, what we are working with. Deep Sea Carbon. It is an open source artificial intelligence model developed by a Chinese company Deep Seek, specifically designed for enhanced reasoning and logical inference, mathematical problem solving and decision making. Uh, one of its standout features is the ability to perform its thought process to arrive at conclusion, making it distinct from traditional language models. Its open source nature makes it highly competitive as developers and researchers can freely access and modify it. So its primary feature is the ability to perform complex reasoning tasks, demonstrating its thought process through chain of thought reasoning, making its output more transparent and understandable. Unlike many other advanced AI models, DeepSeek R1 is fully open source, enabling anyone to use, study and modify it freely. And if I talk about benchmarks, DeepSeek R1 has been shown to perform comparably or even outperform other reasoning models like OpenAI's O1 uh, on various benchmarks. As you can see, uh, over here we have different benchmarks for coding, for maths, for Chinese language, for English language. Uh, DeepSeek also provides a smaller distilled version of its model, allowing users to run high quality reasoning capabilities on devices with limited computational resources. So if I want to test this particular model, then I can click on the start now over here. So I'll be getting UI something similar to the chat GPT. So I can select deep, deep think over here and uh, I'm writing the prompt uh, why people are saying you are best than open AI's open models. As you can see, it is giving me a proper reasonable answer. Okay, so someone is asking if people uh, say I'm better than OpenAI GPT-4 models, as, as you can see. It is giving me the complete reasoning. Cool enough. Now we will see how to load DeepSeek R1 model in Google Colab using Olama. For that, first of all, I'll open Olama's official website by just typing Olama on Google. Cool. For those who are not familiar with Olama, it is a platform that allows you to efficiently use AI models like DeepSeek, Llama, uh, Mishral, Neural Chart. It includes large language models as well as embedding models uh, on your local machine or in the cloud. Together, these tools can supercharge your AI projects. I'm clicking on the models over here. As you can see, we have DeepSeek R1 on the top because this is one of the most popular model currently in the field of generative AI. So it is available in different parameter size. You can read about DeepSeek a uh, uh, little bit in the description. Like if you want to load 1.5 billion parameter models, you can use this particular piece of code like that. So I have created a, a Google Colab notebook. So to follow along, you need a Google account to access Google Colab basic Python knowledge. Don't worry, I'll guide you through the code. So if you don't have a, a, you know, Gmail account, you can create an account and you can log in into the Google Colab. First go to the Google Colab. If you are uh, unfamiliar with the Google Colab, it's a free tool provided by the Google where you can run provide Python code in the cloud without needing a powerful local machine. Open your browser and just type Google Colab or use the link I have added in the description for this particular framework. So first of all, we are installing the essential libraries. I have already installed it as you can see. We are installing all these packages. And then uh, here we have a helper function with which we are uh, serving the model on the Olama. So then as you can see, I've added the statement Olama pool model name. So we are getting the model name from this particular Olama website. This is the name of the model called as DeepSeek R1. 
so i'm changing the name of the model over here so i'm running this command so it is pulling the model from olama nothing else as you can see we have a model of 4.7 gb size as you can see here as well we have a model of 4.7 gb size it is loading the model in between we can also change the name of the model over here where we will call the model so the model is loaded successfully no now i have also changed the name of the model over here so i am running this particular cell as well cool so now i have given the prompt what is the value of uh, x when we have this equation let's see uh, will it make any mistake or uh, will it give us a correct answer it's running correct so here we have a uh, the value of x equals to 2 now how this particular deep sea carvanus model is different from other models it is gi giving me the results uh, with proper reasoning as you can see now uh, that you have successfully connected to the model try using different prompts to see what deep sea carvan can do for example summarize a research paper generate a python script for data pre-processing play around and explore the model's capabilities and uh, you can get the uh, link for this particular collab notebook in the description below and uh, that's it you have successfully loaded the deep sea carbon model in google collab using olama if you have any questions or run into issues drop them in the comments below i'll do my best to help you out thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye